In this video, I'll talk about how to import from Adobe Illustrator. Uh, you could also use this process to import from Adobe Photoshop. So I'm going to start with a new file. And here I'm just going to choose one of the standard uh, file formats and click Create. Now, uh, whether you import it to the stage or to a movie clip is up to you. It might be to your advantage to import into a movie clip. That way you could use the movie clip anywhere you want to. Um, I'm going to just import this to the stage to show you the process. So I'm going to go to File to Import, Import to Stage. And I'm going to go into my folders. And I have this Illustrator file and I'm going to go ahead and click open. Now Adobe Animate is going to analyze the Illustrator file and it's going to bring up a dialog box and it recognizes all the layers inside of the Illustrator file. So you can see here I have a layer called head and the way that Animate does this it is it exposes all of the sub layers. So the first thing I'm going to do to make this a little simpler is I'm going to collapse uh, the individual layers. Uh, we don't want to go into the sub layers and make them into movie clips or anything like that. We just want to focus on the top level layers and get those into Adobe Animate. And this is a character that I developed and you may have seen this before but it's all the different parts of this character. So up on the top here, I'm gonna click on the first layer and you have a couple of choices. So import as bitmap will um, not bring it in as a vector, but it'll bring it in as a, a bitmap file. And uh, the only reason why I would think that you would wanna choose this is if you have some complex art that's really, really dense, it has a lot of points and that would increase the file size. So you would choose import as bitmap to make the file size smaller. You have an option to create a movie clip and to give it an instance name. Now to give it, uh, to create a movie clip is a good idea. To give it an instance name would be when you're going to um, do any kind of programmatic scripting on the objects. So I'm gonna choose create a movie clip and you can give it an instance name if you want and then the registration is where we want it to be centered. So I'm gonna go through this process for these layers. I'm gonna create movie clips out of all of them. And the centering and the registration, we can deal with that at a later time. We're going to have to uh, for this instance. And the reason why we want to move these all as movie clips is because we want to have that flexibility of animating them. If we just brought them in without making them into movie clips, then we'd have to go through the process of making them into movie clips so that we can animate them. So it's just best to get this um, step out of the way. Now under Convert Layers to, you have Animate Layers, Single Animate Layer, or Keyframes. So I'm going to keep the Animate Layers the way that they are. So they're going to come in the layer stack like this. This says place objects as original at original position. So it's going to try to place them the way that they were in the Adobe Illustrator file. You also have the option of setting the stage to the same size as the Illustrator file. I'm not going to choose that here, but if you wanted to, you can import it uh, at the same size. And then you have these two other options, import as a single bitmap image, which is bring it in as a flat image file. Obviously, I don't want to do that because then you can't really animate it. And then un import unused symbols or un import anything that's unused. So when I click import, I'll have all the parts. And if you look in my library, I'll have a folder that organizes all those parts. And you'll see I have subfolders. And inside those subfolders, I have all the movie clips that I made. Each of the movie clips is on its own layer. So if I look at the layers, you can see all the different layers that were created. And I'm almost ready to animate this. So I'll have to go in and I'll have to set the, uh, the registration point for each of these 
uh, to a different location. But that's how to import from Adobe Illustrator. Like I said before, the process would be the same or similar for Adobe Photoshop files. You would recognize all the different uh, Photoshop layers, and then you can select them, convert them into movie clips, and then bring them into Animate so that you can animate. And that's it.